hundreds of times. And I'm sure that you feel like me. But what do you think about it? it looks like replay. Yeah, I mean, when you, when, you, when you see the last last games of us, I mean, it's always a huge effort from my team. I think first half we were playing really good. We were, we were leading one nothing, and then we're not able to to get with the lead into halftime. It would make it a little bit easier for us. But like in the last games, we give up uh, goals too easy, especially in moments where we where we need to 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 do a better job, not not conceding a goal. But I think. So after 25, 30 minutes, you could see when Austria made more pressure, especially the, the, some Austrian players from the German Bundesliga, they are, play, they are used to put this hard pressure on my team. We were not able anymore or brave enough to connect passes and to keep the possession like we had maybe in the first 30 minutes. And then the game turned a little bit and I told my players that we have to play, uh, play brave again second half. We have to keep going and we try and then of course, you concede the second goal, and this is this is not easy then to come back. And, uh, and can you explain <coughs> the substitution of Talib? Yeah, because he, he said in halftime, I mean, he didn't play in the last couple of, of, of games. For me, it was clear maybe after 60, 70 minutes that he that we, we need a substitution here. And, and, and in these situations, I thought with, with Omri, we have a good backup. and. This is this is the reason of the substitution. Okay. Yeah. Yep. What can you say to Iran Zerbi? I mean, he scored ten goals for us. What should I say? What else can I say? Imagine without him, you know. How many goals we scored, and he he gets one one. It was not in my great chance, but where he places the ball, how he how he scores, he is in the shape of his life, and that is is great to have him in our team. But I think first half the whole team was was doing really good. So we always have a big effort, but then we we, we lose sometimes the concentration in, in in decisive moments, and then we lose every game. And this is what what happened in the last two three games, and this is it's not easy to to change. And Andy, I w I'm asking you here. Ah, okay. Hi, I'm asking you it every time, and you always give the same answer. But please, you know, we're conceding 14 goals in seven yeah. games. It's about time to admit that we are we lack quality in the in not only in defending, but in defensive players. They have Bundesliga players all over the the back line. We don't have the quality enough in the back line. It's time to admit it. No. Yeah, but uh, I, I have the best player that I think we, 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 we can choose. And you know, the first 30 minutes we were doing everything right, right? Then we, the big in between the strikers and the midfield is getting bigger, from midfielders to the defensive line is, is getting bigger. And then it's, it's, of course, it's more difficult for the defenders if there's too much space for Sabitzer for his runs, for Lima's runs, for Anatovic creating something. So we, we have to be more focused on, on, on having a compact shape for the 90 minutes. But on the other side, every player wants, and I want us to, to in possession, to go forward and then to find the right balance between going forward and still have a good uh, situation when we lose the ball. It's, it's, it's not so easy. Yeah. But one thing is for sure, at crosses we have to be stronger, we have to be tougher, we will concede too many simple goals after crosses and we were talking about it, but you know, it's not easy to say we have to do this and this and, and then everything is going the perfect way, so we have to, to work really hard on it and of course it's, this, it's a difference when a player is playing in the German Bundesliga like Hinteregg and he's playing Europa League and he was one moment right now one of the best players and defenders in, in the German Bundesliga, but I want my players to look at these Austrian players to work harder in the club and maybe we get uh, in the future we will be better if without working harder we will always sit here and say oh, we gave up easy goals that's what I expect from national team players not only not only in training with the team we have to work harder and do more individually uh, off the pitch on the pitch I don't care but we need to to work harder after the results tonight Israel crashed to the fifth position in the group it's a huge disappointment. Oh, wait, well, wait a little bit. We win now against Latvia. Maybe the first team struggle a little bit and 
we have a little chance to come back. Now, of course, we we, we, we have now three games and one point of four game with Poland too, so we have to get now a win against Latvia to get back in a kind of confidence again. And right now the situation is not nice, that's for sure, but we... we Yes, I always have confidence. When you see the first 30, 35 minutes, my, deserve, my, my team deserves some credit. But on the other side, like I said, we have to not only talk about after every game what we did wrong, so my, my a national team player has to work harder than anyone else in, in the country. And that's what I expect for the future. <coughs> In dangerous areas, yeah. Now we were talking. You saw that maybe you think to replace him, maybe. No, because he's still a quality player. Of course, he had some turnovers in, in pos on, on, on zones of the field where it was really, really dangerous. But uh, I mean, it's, it's, we were talking before the game that we have to avoid this because Ost is the bigger strength, especially when they were playing with Leimer, Baumgartling and Ilsanka. We knew this, is, this will be a game with a lot of pressure in the middle of the, in the channel, in the middle of the field. And we have to find more the width. And when we played through the middle and losing the ball in the middle, this is dangerous. Okay, any questions? If you, if you choose again, you would pick the same 11 to start with them? Yes. Not Weissmann, not Glaser, or something else? No, I mean, I made the decision before the game, and for me, this was the the the, 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 the right starting lineup. After the game, you always think, okay, this could have been different, or this had, could have been different. Especially second half, I think, we as a team and I as a coach made some mistakes too, that's, that's for sure. Some of the mistakes, some of the mistakes uh, playing maybe players out of position, Ben Arush as a left wing back, Beaton in central midfield when he's playing only central defender in Celtic. Yeah, but, but uh, this was my idea where I thought we can have, especially in midfield, uh, players with Bibras and with Nia Piton, players with confidence on the ball, good passing, but it's not always working like you, like, like you hope for. For me, it was the, the, the right, uh, right starting lineup, but um, second half, maybe we made some mistakes. No, for sure we, we, we could do better, but we are always sitting here and talking about it could be better. We have to change it around now. I mean, it's, 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 it's kind of, of, we look good 35, 40 minutes, and instead of keeping control of the game, then suddenly we, we give up a goal and then we start again from zero. And then at the end we lose a game, and now we are in a real bad situation. But like I said, now we have to win against Latvia, and then we will see what's going on in the last two games. Questions? Yeah. Andy, uh, you always talk about the future and results to be in order to get uh, another study. But you see, you keep the, the last three games. Don't you, do, do you want to, you still want to work here? Do you feel that you will get the credit? No, I mean, I, 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 I'm here to, to, to do my job and to improve my team. And it's, like I said, we, when you only play 35 minutes the way like you want as a coach, it's not good enough from my side too. Second half especially. Great. Questions from the Austrian? in the group for you now? Ja, ich meine, ich glaube, man hat gesehen, dass Österreich phasenweise schon mehr Power hat wie wir, dass sie einfach da, wenn sie mit, 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 mit viel Intensität spielen, dass wir da ein bisschen Schwierigkeiten gehabt haben. Aber ich glaube, man hat auch gesehen, dass die Österreicher phasenweise dann auch nicht mehr so gut ausgeschaut haben. Aber im Endeffekt haben sie das Spiel gewonnen. Sie waren unter großem Druck, weil sie als, als Heimspiel, wenn, die, wenn sie qualifizieren müsst, musst du einfach gewinnen. Und das haben sie geschafft und man muss man, muss man ein Kompliment machen, das ist klar. Ich meine, es war auch keine leichte Situation für den Franco mit verschiedenen verletzten Spielern und so. Und Und wir sind trotzdem ein Gegner, der manchmal unangenehm zum Spielen ist. 
Ja, ich denke durch den Sieg heute und die Niederlage von Slowenien, jetzt ist natürlich das nächste Spiel ein Entscheidungsspiel. Das ist klar. Und dann hat man noch, glaube ich, ein Heimspiel gegen Mazedonien, also man hat alles in der eigenen Hand. Es wäre eine schöne Ausgangsposition auch für uns, aber leider haben wir uns die jetzt schon seit ein paar Spielen verhaut. הם שיחקו לרוב עם יותר עוצמה, לפעמים גם הם נראו רע לעומת זאת, הם היו אבל תחת לחץ גדול לנצח בבית, צריך להחמיא להם ולמאמן שהגיע להישג הזה למרות מספר שחקנים פצועים. אנדי, hast du irgendwie auf deinen Spiel an Einfluss, dass du sagen kannst, geht es in die stärkere Liga, versucht es oder, oder haben die meisten halt keine Angebote? Ist sicher wahrscheinlich das Problem ganz einfach, dass man den Alltag wahrscheinlich auf einem höheren Niveau verbringen müsste als in der Nationalliga. Darum hat ja auch Österreich lauter Legionäre, nicht? obwohl unsere Liga sicher besser geworden ist in letzter Zeit. Ja, bei uns ist das Problem, wenn wir heute halt Spieler, so wie jetzt im Monat der Buren an der besten Liga haben, dann, dann, dann spielt er halt leider nicht. Dann hast du jetzt ganz auf der einen Seite stolz sein, dass du dann einen guten Spieler in einer tollen Liga hast. Wenn er halt nicht mit, mit viel Spiel, Spielpraxis und mit Selbstvertrauen, das er letztes Jahr gehabt hat, ist dann natürlich auch schwierig, das ist ganz klar. Und wenn du halt dann nur 10 oder 15 Spieler im, im Ausland hast und davon spielen dann die Hälfte nicht, hast du jetzt nicht dann gerade die größte Auswahl. Aber trotzdem muss das Ziel für jeden einzelnen Spieler sein, das meine ich halt, als Nationalspieler, dass sie sich im Training jeden Tag verbessern wollen, dass sie den Antrieb haben, dass sie dann in, ins Ausland gehen, nach Europa, in den top -Liga, und dort sie Tag für Tag beweisen müssen. Die gleiche Situation haben wir in Österreich vor 15 Jahren gehabt. Ne? האם יש לך השפעה על השחקנים? האם אתה אומר להם להתאמץ יותר, לנסות לעבור לחו"ל? התשובה הייתה ש... מצד אחד אם הם עוזבים לחו"ל אז הם משחקים פחות, מצד שני ברור שהוא מדרבן את כולם להשתפר מאימון לאימון. כן, זה בגדול.